last 25 years is fundamentally looked at how to build technology, uh, innovation, quality, manufacturing presence, systems. So we built that over the last 25 years. And today, LG is 50% India, 50% rest of the world. And out of that 50%, which is the rest of the world, 75% is in Europe and in the US. And these are the two key markets for us to build. Now, one of the aspirations that we have as a company, and we call this aspiration CK2, which is Conquer K2. Now, we want to be number two in the compressor business. You may ask, why not number one? Eventually, number one. But within a time frame of the next 10 years, we believe it's more realistic to look at the number two position. And we call it CK2 or Conquer K2 because K2 is the second tallest mountain in the world and the most difficult one to climb. So that kind of reflects our aspiration as well. So in this journey that we have undertaken, we had to be very focused. We couldn't boil the ocean and try to be everything to everybody all over. So our focus has been strategically in six markets, India, home market, Europe, United States, Australia, Indonesia, and Thailand. We've made significant progress in India. We made significant progress in the United States. We made quite a bit of progress in Europe, but this is really a inflection point. This show and onwards. And I would like to, in this context, introduce Chris, who's joined us as our president uh, a month ago. And so he is going to be a catalyst and a leader for making things happen in Europe. Australia, we have made significant progress. Indonesia and Thailand is something that we are working on. Now, how do we win? These are the markets we want to play in. How are we going to win? Because there are large players. The key insight for us to win is about how do we make the customer's life cycle cost the lowest when they buy an LG compressor. Now, there are multiple dimensions of life cycle cost. The primary one is electricity, the energy cost. And today we are on a trajectory to build the most efficient machines in the market. And we continue to push the envelope. And we believe in a year to year and a half, we will be undisputed in terms of the lowest energy cost in the market across all our models. So that's a key driver for us. And the second key strategy of how to win for us is to look at, today if you look at a compressor, there is oil lubricated compressor and there is oil free compressor. The market expects and behaves as though these are two separate segments. We believe that need not be. We believe that every compressor can be oil free. If you look at oil lubricated compressors, all the compressors that are working in the world put out 2 million liters of oil into the atmosphere every year. We believe that there is an opportunity to make the world a cleaner place and a safer place, a healthier place. And therefore, we want to make all our compressors oil free. Now, the problem, the challenge is there are oil free compressors but they're not very efficient. There are oil-free compressors, but they're three times more expensive, right? So we want to disrupt, and that's really our innovation here. Oil-free disrupted. What we have brought today here is a highly efficient oil-free compressor that need not be as expensive. So this is the first stage in our journey. And even as we speak, we are working on technologies that are going to transform these machines that we will show you now into something even better. So that, that work is on. We have the technology pipeline and we are very confident in the next year to two years, we will make all compressors oil free at today's cost of oil lubricated machines 
and today's efficiency of lubricated machines. This is really our strategy of where we want to play and how we want to win. A little bit of statistics about our company. We have 1,500 people working in our organization. Our revenue approximately is 250, 240 million euro. Uh, we have presence in about 100 countries. We have direct presence in about 18 countries. Out of the 1,500 people, close to 300 people working outside India. And the number of people working outside of India is increasing at a much faster rate than the number of people working in India. We believe that to be a global organization, to be number two in the world, we can't have an India-centric mentality. We need to have a globally-centric mentality. And what that means is not be a hostage to what makes India an advantage. So we are building technologies and competencies where we can operate anywhere in the world and still be very competitive. For instance, we are looking at manufacturing in the United States. We are looking at manufacturing in Europe as a means to get to the customer faster and more efficiently, right? So we are building systems that are not dependent on making the compressors cheaper or a lower cost from India. So really, this is where, where we are building the whole uh, strategy. This is a little bit of statistics on our, on our company. I'll be quite happy to answer specific questions that you may have. In this context, we are talking about our oil-free disrupted. I would like to take you to the machine and explain to you. But before we go there, we also want to talk to you about uh, our air alert, which is our, our version of our Industry 4.0 little different uh, everybody is talking industry 4.0 uh, what we are looking at is not so much a reporting system or a, a preventive maintenance system we are looking at using artificial intelligence and machine learning as a means to predict failures we believe any failure is a negative thing on the brand and the best way to service a customer is to predict the failure and get there before the actual failure happens. So that's a little bit of a difference and all our machines in the future will have that as standard and our intent in the architecture of this product is that we believe that this should not be charged additionally to the customer. It will be part of our standard fitment and the customer gets the benefit of it. So, after this, we talk about the video, right? We are going to play the video of our oil-free disrupted, and then we'll take you to the machine and explain to you.
to the machine and uh, Not now, later. So just a, a bit of a background on the machine. Uh, like we said on the video, this machine, uh, we inject water into the machine as opposed to oil. And the advantage of 